Hello and welcome to Saki e Tech. So if you converted your HTC One Sense to HTC One Google Play Edition, you probably know that as of now it is somewhat hard to get back to Sense. Normally what you do is you simply use an RUU file which stands for ROM Update Utility which restores your HTC back to complete Sense stock with a click of a few buttons. Now unfortunately we don't have an RUU available right now for the HTC One M8 so we will be using a different workaround to get you back on Sense interface. So what you are going to need is you're going to need a custom ROM which is based on HTC Sense and we're going to be using, I'm going to be using the Viper ROM. You can use other custom ROMs such as Maximus HD. Now just remember this process is not going to get you back to factory stock. Okay, we are trying to go back to Sense. So we're going to go from Google Play Edition to Sense but to get to Sense, we have to use a custom ROM based on Sense. And uh, before we dive in, just make sure that you do have the USB debugging enabled. So go to the settings of your phone, scroll all the way down, go into developer options, and make sure USB debugging is in fact enabled. If you don't see the developer options, just go back, go into About Phone at the bottom, scroll down, tap Build Number 7 times, and that is going to enable the Developer Options menu, and then enable USB debugging. All right, so let's uh, go and grab all the files that we need for this project. So head on over to my website post, for which I will leave a link in the description below. And once you're here, just scroll down to where it says required files to download. The first thing you want to grab is fastboot and ADV files so just click that it's a quick zip file and then go to the uh, TWRP website and scroll all the way down and download the HTC One M8 GSM TWRP recovery okay so as far as I know Sprint and Verizon are not able to go into uh, Google Play Edition so you need the GSM version which is for all phones that use a SIM card so download the GSM version and then I'll go back here and now we have to download the firmware this is one of the main ingredients which is gonna allow us to go back to sense so uh, what you wanna do is you wanna scroll down on this website post and where it says flash 1.54 blah 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 firmware you just click this link right here then you click begin download right over here and that's going to start your download in 10 seconds and finally you want to go grab the Viper One custom ROM so if you click this link what you want to do is you want to scroll down to the second post which is right here where it says downloads okay and then just you can click main link mirror one or mirror two which is going to grab you the Viper One ROM and there's just one more thing I want to talk about. Under requirements here, in number two, it says preferably have a super CID on your HTC One M8. Now this is not a requirement, okay? But if you have it, you may be able to dodge some of the complications that may arise as some people have reported. But you don't have to do it, okay? But if you want to do it, you can click this link right here. It's going to take you to a video that shows you how to get super CID on your phone and it also shows you how to get it back to whatever you need to go back to. Okay, so finally I want to show you one more thing. If you go back to Wiper One Custom ROM Thread, and if you scroll down a little bit, just want to show you this is in fact based on Sense. So you will get full Sense experience with the latest version of Android. You will get the same with Maximus HD ROM if you prefer that one. Alright, so I placed all my downloaded files into this downloads folder. So let's go ahead and organize that really quick. So if you launch that, first and foremost, extract the fastboot adb zip folder. Okay, so just extract that. I use 7-zip for all my extractions. And then once you extract that, go inside, and then go inside one more time, and these are all the files you need. But go back, cut this folder right here, and put it back into the root of downloads okay now you can delete this and you can delete this zip file 
Now what you want to do is you want to grab all these three guys and just move them into the fast boot folder. So when you go into fast boot, it should look just like this. So all these files, the recovery file, the Viper ROM, and the firmware is right here. All right, so the first step I want you to do is uh, just put this on the side, go into the fast boot folder, and uh, anywhere within the white space, make sure the mouse is hovering anywhere within the white space, press shift on your keyboard and right click on your mouse, and then press open command window here. Alrighty, so let me put bring this right over here. And the first thing I want you to type is ADB devices, just to make sure that ADB is in fact working. And make sure you, your phone is connected to your PC using a micro USB cable. So as long as you see this, these random numbers and device right next to it, you're good to go. So the first thing I want you to do, this is the most important command to start, ADB reboot boot loader and this is going to take you into the fast boot mode so press enter your phone is going to restart and it's gonna go straight into the fast boot mode as you can see on the screen the next command is fast boot OEM reboot RUU this is going to put your phone in the RUU mode. Press enter and you'll see your phone change screens one more time. Okay, so once you see that HTC logo on your phone, the next step is to type in fast boot flash zip. And now I want you to type in the name of that firmware exactly as it appears. Okay, so you want to type in one point. 54.401.5 dash w underscore splash dot zip okay so that's the one right here that I had you place in the fast boot folder so after you type this command fast boot space flash space zip space name of the firmware press enter and the first time it may in fact fail Okay, I'm going to show you what, what it says if it fails. So it, at the bottom here it says failed. If you see that and you are going to see it, just do it one more time. Okay, so run the same exact command we just ran one more time, which was fast boot flash zip name of the firmware. Press enter. Okay, and then the, this time it didn't fail, which is a good sign. So it says OK. So you have to keep running that same exact command until you get this OK message at the bottom of the command. All right, and then once you are done with this stuff, the next step is to type in fast boot, reboot, and make sure you put the hyphen, the dash, and boot loader okay so type in fast boot reboot dash boot loader and then press enter this is going to send you into the stock recovery of the phone and from here we are going to do a factory reset on the phone use the volume up and down keys on your phone to go up or down so right now we're in the fast boot mode we just want to go back to the H boot mode so make sure the H boot mode is selected with the blue highlight and then press power button to go into H boot. Okay. And from there, scroll down to where it says factory reset in red and press power. This is going to reset our phone back to factory stock. Okay. So as you can see, the phone is now being restored back to factory stock to the Google Play edition as of now we are going to put sense on it in a minute and uh, this what you're looking at right now on the screen is the uh, stock recovery which is resetting your phone back to factory stock and uh, in a, let me just fast forward this to the end and show you what to do next now once you see the uh, the welcome screen just click next to everything don't set up anything okay just skip anyway next 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 click OK click OK and then go to the settings go all the way down 
about phone and tap that build number seven times to re-enable developers options. Go back, go into developers options and re-enable USB debugging. Click OK and now we're good to go. Let's switch over to our computer. All right, so back on your computer, if you if you close down your command prompt, you can relaunch it like I'm about to do right now. So press Shift, right click on your mouse, choose Open Command Window here. Just make sure the ADB is working, and in fact it is because you see a random number and device right next to it. And now we want to go back into the fast boot mode. ADB reboot dash boot loader press enter it's going to take the phone into the fast boot mode now once you're there what we have to do now is send the twrp recovery back to our phone so here we want to type in fast boot flash recovery and then we are going to type in the name of the recovery file that we just downloaded earlier which is right here i'm just going to copy this and paste it right over here. Make sure you add the .img extension and then press enter. So just type in fastboot flash recovery name of the recovery file that you downloaded dot the img extension exactly as it appears up here on the top okay in the folder. So once you press enter that is going to send the recovery file to your phone. Now what you want to do is you're still in the fast boot mode, okay? But we want to go into the TWRP mode. So uh, using the volume up or down keys, make sure each boot is selected in blue, just like you see there, and press power to select it. That's going to send you to each boot. And from here, using the volume down key, select recovery, and then press power and this is going to send you into the TWRP recovery. I'm gonna show you what to do next. Let's just wait for that to come up. Okay, so this is the recovery we just flashed over to your phone freshly. All right, so the final thing we're gonna do is we're gonna send our custom ROM to our phone. And I wanna show you something new you probably haven't seen before. You can run ADB commands from the custom recovery. So as you can see, your phone is in custom recovery mode. That means you can run ADB commands. Let me show you. Type in ADB and say devices. And that's going to say, give you the serial number of your phone, and it's going to say recovery right next to it. That means you're in the recovery mode, but you can still run ADB commands. Now using the ADB command, we're going to send Viper Von ROM, which is right here, directly to your phone. So all you want to do is just copy and paste what I'm typing here, okay? So type in ADB, push, exact name of the Viper 1 ROM right here, okay? So Viper 1 M8 uh, underscore 1.6.0 dot zip, and then you're gonna do a space slash SD card slash. Press enter. Now the phone is going to receive the Viper 1 ROM. It should take no more than five minutes, maybe two minutes. So just wait this process out. Okay, so once the process is complete, you're going to see this over here. This is a successfully sent message. It says that X amount of bytes were sent in 231 seconds. Alrighty. So that's approximately four minutes there, I think. And uh, you're done with the computer now. So we're going to switch over to my phone and complete this process right away. If your phone went back to sleep mode, just uh, press power, swipe to unlock, and quickly go into the install so I can show you something. Tap install. At the bottom, you'll see the Viper 1 ROM that we moved over from our computer using ADB push command. And make sure internal storage is selected so you can see that. Okay, go back. First step is to wipe our phone. Just swipe to do a factory reset. That's going to wipe everything on your phone that is currently on it. Go back. Go back one more time. Tap install. 
scroll down and this time you want to tap on wiper one and then swipe to confirm flash this is going to start the installation process for the new sense rom okay so you see the snake okay so just press next agree to the terms press next next and choose install wiper one from this menu on the top and then do a wipe data just in case we already wiped it but let's do it one more time it takes a second anyway and uh, you can either choose stock which is going to give you a closer to stock experience or you can choose viper which is going to give you extra tweaks and settings i'm just going to choose wiper here's a summary of everything you're going to get with your current installation click next if you have T-Mobile, choose T-Mobile, AT&T, choose AT&T, anything else, choose default and press next. Next one more time. The installation process is going to start. Let me go ahead and fast forward this all the way to the end. Okay, so once it's over, you're going to see this screen. Just click next to continue. Make sure it says new ROM flashed successfully at the bottom there. So click finish, reboot your device which is going to restart your device and again this process is going to take a couple of minutes so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fast forward all the way to the end but this is what you should be seeing right now so your phone will turn off it's going to restart and it's going to start the initial setup for the new Viper 1 ROM so let me just fast forward this all the way to the end okay so we're about to get done here and there is our initial screen coming right up there we go so all you want to do I'm just gonna go all the way I'm gonna skip all this stuff start make sure you choose your carrier click next click next click OK no not now and skip this stuff for a minute skip skip and then it's going to take you right to HTC blink feed after I press finish here and there you go so you're back in HTC sense with Android 4.2.2 or the latest version of Android when it's available okay so there's your blink feed right there and uh, if you swipe over you'll see the regular HTC sense interface as well there you go okay perfect so let's go to settings scroll all the way down about software information and as you can see you got Android 4.4.2 and HTC Sense 6 so you're back on Sense now remember you can go back to uh, Google Play Edition if you want so you can convert back to Google Play Edition then you can come back to Sense but the problem is until the RUU file is released you're never going to be able to go back to the factory stock and I mean true factory stock so the RUU will be available at some point in the future until then you're gonna to have to use these methods to go back and forth okay so if you want to go back to uh, Google Play Edition you can do it again and then you can come back to sense using this method alright so that brings us to the end of this video uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more videos to come uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked this video and also you can go ahead and connect with me socially on Google Plus, Facebook and Twitter for which all the links are in the description below. Thank you again and I'll see you the next time. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, just throw them down in the comments section below.